Uh, first of all, uh, let's speak about school because it is a very important topic for you. And uh, first of all, I'd like you to make up the mind map and go to the blackboard and write down the school subjects as much as possible. This order you know, the first one. Go to the blackboard and write down the one of the school subjects. Please. Let's make up the mind map and go to the blackboard and write down the words which mean the school subjects. Please, who is the first one? You, please, Ola, and go to the blackboard. English. English. Next, who wants? Black. What does it mean? Chemistry? Chemistry? Yes. Chemistry? <laughs> chemistry? <laughs> chemistry is... He, he, yeah. yeah. Take your place. Alexander. Calculate. 
take your enter, good. So, let the H. And worker, history, and make. Good, well done. So, let the O, we have two O. Like two O numbers. And? O And O, the end. One O, the end. All stand, good. And the last letter, uh, let's go. Uh, lunch, lesbos. Lunch, play. Lunch, lesbos. Lesson, love. Nazar is the first one, so uh, he had many words. So and uh, this th this is uh, the word which is very important for you, yes, because you studied school for eleven years. So you have told you have <coughs> you have named the words which are concerning with this word with the word school. Okay. So now I'd like you to play another game. It, it is called microphone. So imagine that I am a journalist and you have to answer my questions. I'll give you the questions about the school. Uh, first question is, uh, do you like to go to school and why do you like to go to school? Yes, I like to, to, to go to school because I have a lot of friends there. Uh, good. Uh, now tell me please, when do you usually get up in the morning? I usually get uh, on, on the on get, up. The, get up 6 o'clock in the morning. Good. Uh, do you come back good time? Do you come back good time? Uh, I come back good time to school. Good. So you will have a good time management, yes? yes. Now, another question uh, for you. How many lessons do you have a day? I have uh, six and seven or seven. or seven lessons a day. Good. Another question. Uh, when do you come back home from school? Monday. When do you come back home from, from school? I come back. Uh, I come back home about two o'clock. Good. And what is your favorite lesson? Subject? Uh, my favorite subject is biology. Biology. Good. Uh, so, who is your best friend at school? My best friend, friend. is also your dad, yes. So, uh, what is your hobby? My hobby is to play football. Good. And what uh, what do you do in, in your free time? When I play, I play football and watch TV. Good. Mm -hmm. okay. So, uh, we have another task. Next task is as a game. The game traffic lights. So, what does it mean? Uh, you uh, recently you have learned the topic about school. We have learned the topic school do do's and don'ts. What you uh, must do and what you shouldn't do. So, your ne your next task is called traffic lights. Recently, you have learned the topic about school and school do's and don'ts. And your task is to listen to my sentences and show me the green card when it is correct, when you can do this, and if not, you show me the red card. So, are you ready? Yes. yes. So, the first one. Boys are playing football in the class. Boys are playing football in the class. Yes or no? No. No, good. Pupils are listening music at the lesson. No. 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 Good. Pupils are doing exercises at the lesson. Doing exercises at the lesson. Yes. 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 Good. Uh, pupils are playing football at the PT lesson. Pupils are playing football at the PT lesson. Yes. 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 Good. Pupils are um, having lunch uh, at the break. During the break. Pupils are having lunch during the break. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. That's enough. Good. And now, let's uh, prepare uh, to your home task. So your home task will be to uh, write down about your school, uh, a mini composition about your school. But first of all, let's look at this project to of one of the girls about her school. Please look and read you. My school is known to have an excellent reputation in the district. 
and to give an extended knowledge of many subjects. I am proud of being a pupil of my school. Needless to say, that is provided with all the necessary audio and video equipment, has roomy classes and a comfortable sports ground. Chemistry, physics and biology are taught in classes in small science laboratories. Speaking about my school, I can't help saying about our computer class, in which familiar race with modern computer programs learn to operate the information and can attend supplementary lessons. As for our assembly hall, it is all spacious and well decorated and all the pupils and teachers get together in it to celebrate school holidays or to see performances prepared by the teachers' membership and senior pupils for Christmas and, and New Year. Okay, uh, thanks to our teachers, we have a possibility to acquire good knowledge of English and Russian, mathematics, Russian and English, literature, physics and other necessary subjects. They are strict, but ready to help us if we can't catch up with the class. The teachers to be responsible to get good knowledge. Okay, next. It is no secret that not all the pupils are satisfied with the methods of teaching, but I suppose that we can see the same situation in our school. There are people who are rebelled by nature and its normally. As for me, I consider our teachers to be highly qualified persons and simply good people who help us to cope with various difficulties and treat us with respect. I think it necessary that I should tell you about our out-of-school activities. We have a beautiful dance studio and a workroom for those who are fond of painting and a lot of my friends attend dancing lessons and classes of art. Besides, every summer pupils go on, on a two-week trip with our teachers. On the whole, I am satisfied with the level of knowledge I get in my school. But for the great amount of time which I spend doing my homework, I would say that it is the best school in the city. Nevertheless, I like it very much and next year I am going to take that summer trip. Thank for attention. So, your home task will be to make something like a project or a mini composition about your school. During the lesson, you are a little bit tired. So, now let's do uh, such a joke game. It is like a joke. It is called pantomime. So, you have uh, the tasks. You have the, uh, the tasks with, uh, on the sheets of paper. And you have to show the pantomime with different uh, different, maybe like moves, but and sounds. And you may. Now let's have a little rela uh, relaxation, relax, and play a game which is called pantomime. You get the cards, yes, and uh, you have to read them and present them before the class with the help of pantomime. And another pupils. Uh, have to guess, we don't have, yes, you have to guess what is it and say. So, please. Yes. Read. So, you have one minute to prepare for this task. Are you ready? No. Yes. 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 Okay. You are the first one, please. Come here. Come here. So who gets you? You are feeling X, then put the X on the feet and Plate. eat them. Yes. Okay, take your place. And the last one, Jana. Okay, what is it? Uh, you are on the picnic, you are 
and took a sandwich and drink him juice. There are a lot of flies around. Yes. Okay, take your place. Tasty, tasty topic. It's about eating. So you have to look through these uh, slides and to think over the headlines to each one. So we have four slides. So now, uh, students, we have to speak about a very tasty topic. It's about eating. So you have to look through this presentation. There are many slides, but you have to think over the headlines to six six of them, okay? Now look through the first one. There is a good proverb that I like very much. We eat to live, but no, do not live to eat. I think this is true, because food is something that we need to stay alive. Food is a source of energy. Nevertheless, I like eating tasty food, even though I am not much into it. So, for some people, food is a source of pleasure too. But the food that we eat should also be healthy. So, who knows the headline? Proverbs. Proverbs or maybe about food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. I eat cinema food every day. It is usually very simple. My daily meal consists of light breakfast, lunch, at school dinner and supper. Okay. You please. Everyday eating. Everyday eating. Everyday eatings or everyday meals. Next. Mm -hmm. I like tea with toast and homemade jam. I have a sweet tooth. So I like chocolate and different cakes, sweets very much. I usually have lunch at school. It's juice or tea and sandwiches that I take home from there. From home. I can also go to a canteen. Favorite dishes. Favorite dishes, okay. Before lunch, it's good. For dinner, when I come home, I have vegetable soup. Actually, I don't like soup, but I have to eat it because it's healthy. But when I come to my granny, I can't stop trying his specialty, borscht or shti. Soup with meatballs that my mom cooks is my favorite. I can also have a salad or fried fish. I usually do not have desserts. Maybe some green or black tea with lemon. For supper, we usually have different kinds of potato dishes or pasta. I like meat very much. But I also like fish and other sea products. Shrimps, squids, salmon and mackerel. Vegetables are also what I love. Different vegetables are always on our dinner table. My mom makes tasty salads. I love different salads with dressings. I don't eat ma much marinade. Our salads usually have olive oil or sour cream as a dressing. We buy different fruits as well. My favorite fruits are bananas and tangerines. Please. Uh, my dinners. My dinner or my, my meals. My... Good. Nice. I also love all kinds of dairy products like milk, yogurt, kefir, cottage cheese and cheese. While eating, I usually drink juice or tea. I think fast food like McDonald's is very bad for our health. Ready-made food like panmani, hamburgers and so on is also not very good. So we try to cook at home. It's better to spend some time cooking than to have health problems. Please, you. Kinds of food to drink. Kinds of food and how to drink. Or maybe advice. What to do, what to drink and eat, yes. Well, of course my family likes to, to try new dishes. So, my mom always invents a new salad or cooks a new and interesting recipe if she has time on weekends. I try not to eat just before I go to bed. It's advice, okay? You please. My favorite eatings has good eatings. Good. So, so that's all. Good. Well done. So, and now, viewers, uh, let's make a test. Do you live a healthy life? Good. <coughs>
plus if you do and put minus if you don't and then I'll say you the results uh, if you are a healthy person, not very healthy and unhealthy so one, you get up early plus or minus, put plus or minus next, you do morning exercises three, you don't eat cakes and sweets for breakfast Four, you don't eat chips and drink coke. Five, you always eat soup for dinner. Six, you visit your dentist regularly. Seven, you don't play a computer more than an hour. Eight, you clean your room every day. Nine, you go for a walk every evening. Ten, you don't watch TV late at night. Eleven, you visit some sports club. And twelve, you don't go to bed late. So count your points. Minus is zero and plus two. So minus, minus zero. Plus that bar. So let's count. Let's count. Count. Be quick. Count your um, points. Count your points. And I, I'll read the results. From 24 to 20, you are a very healthy and active person. Congratulations. Who has 20, 20 or 24? Nobody? No. 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 Next. Uh, it, from 18 to uh, 14. You do your best to be healthy, but try to plan your free time better. Next, from 12 to 8. Don't be so lazy. You have to change your way of life right now. You have to change your life. And from 6 to 0. You have a lot of problems with your friends because they think you are boring. Look through the test again. These advices can help you. So, you are ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, we have a very interesting task. We have to look through the, the Britain and we have a short touring about Britain and places of interest. So, your task is to look through these slides and then I'll read you the description of each place and you have to say what place is it. So, Please look
monument in Europe, it was used as a big astronomical clock. What's it? A stone edge. Yes, it is a stone edge. Yes, you're right. Next, it is a long and thick wall which has a special shape. Hadrian's wall? Yes, you're right. It is the place where you can see the works of famous English artists and sculptures. Good. It is a monument to the famous English admiral. What is it? Nelson Gore. Good. Uh, <clears throat> next, it is one of the main squares of London. Trafalgar Square. Good. Next, it is the residence of British Queen Elizabeth II. Back in Paris? Yes, right. It is the abbey, monastery, and place where famous English poets and writers are buried. Westminster uh, Abbey. Westminster Abbey, good. It's one of the famous bridges in the centre of London. Tower Bridge. Yes, you're right. And uh, it is one of the oldest monuments in Britain. And a few think over. And a few centuries ago, it was a prison for queens and kings and fortress as well. The Tower of London. London. Good. It is one of the ancient British uh, British castles. British castles. Windsor Castle. Castle. Good. It is the famous cathedral all over the world. St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral. Good. So, uh, you, were, uh, you were very attentive and you look uh, through this presentation and uh, you made uh, the right. You uh, you made the right answers. So now it's. I think that uh, you're well done. Thank you. Now stand up, pupils. I will ask you to do your work. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I must thank you for the presentation, for your participation, and you are well done, and you did your best. You tried your best. Goodbye. See Good. you. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.